Hello everyone, in this video I want to cover how to get a lot of stuff done while playing this game and how to be effective and keep on moving forward, especially once you get to a four or five star rating of your park. So you have a lot of stuff going on. You just gotta do one thing at a time and then just keep on rinse and repeating that. For example, we're gonna go to our expedition map and I'm just gonna hit up, I wanna get some Dilophosaurus. Oh yeah, right here. Okay, I've only got two dig teams, so I'm gonna schedule those guys. Then the next thing I do is I go to fossils. Okay, I can extract that DNA, can extract that. So I just sell, 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 sell the gold, sell the gold. Okay, Ankylosaurus, I'll start extracting. Tyrannosaurus Rex, 100%, I'll sell. Okay, Angiosperm Fossil, I'll sell. Okay, now that's empty, go to the next thing. Research, do I have anything I can research? No, I'm done actually, but what I would do is, since I have two research teams, I'd boom, boom, click two things, click out of here, and then uh, after I'm done going through, the, cycling through those things, then I, I go to our arrival helipad, and then I start you know, finding dinosaurs I wanna throw in here. And then if I don't have anything open, all of these are incubating at the moment, then I'll go on to the next thing. First I'll go to my map, see if there's any dinosaurs. Okay, there's a dead dinosaur right here. So I'll go to this ranger, ranger station I have over here, or outpost, grab a transport team, we'll collect that dead dinosaur. Okay, next thing, go to one of our vehicles, and then I will go and look around, see if there's any feeders that need to be resupplied. Yes, right there there is, and right there there is, right there there is. Oh yeah, we actually got a, we got a couple of these guys. And that one vehicle will be able to handle all of that. Okay, now all of that's good. And then in the meantime, now you can start working on expansion of your park. And then you just, once the fossils come back in, you just rinse, repeat. You go back to here. Once this is done, then you go to fossils, you extract, and then you go to research and you do that. Then you go back to your ranger outpost. You look for any dinosaurs that need to be medicated or any feeders that need to be resupplied. Go back to your park and start editing this stuff. So like looking at this, is this full? Guess 96 to 96, add more management staff. Okay, wow, I can go all the way up. I didn't even know this one was there. And then I'm gonna increase my price here. I'm still making more money per minute. Still making more, still making more. You keep on going up until you lose money. Oh, okay, now it starts to go down. Find the sweet spot right there, boom. Okay, and then you just gotta constantly monitor all this stuff around your park. Keep on looking at all that stuff. And as you keep on doing this, you'll find that though in the moment you may not notice a difference, in a couple minutes or even like an hour later or half an hour later, you start to really see a difference like, whoa, holy smokes, I've got this huge park and I'm, doing, I'm getting all this stuff done. And then the other thing to note about this is don't make any of your stuff like perfect. I mean, if you're really good at managing your time while doing this, okay, yeah, you can make it perfect while you're going. But I notice it's way more effective to just throw stuff down first, throw your park down in, in, in place first. And then after you have everything going, then once you get in a good spot, you can start to modify how everything looks. That's all I got for you in this video, everyone. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please post them in the comment section, and I'll see you all in the next one.